Well, 35 years ago on this day, depending on your age, there was a sense of rising anticipation and excitement because Brisbane and, I guess, Queensland, really, the whole of the country was just a, a couple of days away from the opening of an event that would profoundly change the city of Brisbane and the state of Queensland forever. They say that Brisbane particularly was never the same after Expo 88. The event, which went for six months and that turned what had been a dreary industrial wasteland on the south bank of the Brisbane River, it changed that into a uh, international playground when the World Fair came to town. It changed the city, its people. It changed the way the world viewed us and the way that we viewed the world forever. Her Majesty the Queen officially opened Expo 88, the World Fair, 35 years ago this Sunday evening. But I doubt very much that Rick Birch was thinking too much about all of that big picture stuff at the time. I would imagine that as Director of Entertainment for the six-month-long event and just days away from the opening ceremony, I would imagine his mind was on things a lot more closer to hand and I would imagine it was a fairly tense time. Let's find out. He joins me now. Rick Birch, good morning and welcome. Such a pleasure to talk to you this morning. Hello, David. Nice to hear your voice. It is uh, great to chat. I must admit, I, I do, I have such a, uh, a fondness and such great memories of Expo 88. Uh, but I, I must admit, I'm a bit embarrassed and I can't recall why now. I think I probably thought that it was going to be too crowded that I didn't go to the opening ceremony. I think my first uh, brush with Expo was at uh, the James Taylor concert on the River Stage, which was either the following night or the following weekend. But... Um, can I ask you, if you go back to today, 35 years ago, a few days out, what were you feeling at the time? Was it high tension? Well, it wasn't exactly high tension, but we'd had a lot of rain. The uh, month of um, April had been almost continuous rain, and we had to get paint drying, and we had to get rehearsals underway. Um, and it made that we had tarpaulins over everything in, in order to you know, proceed. And the opening, which unfortunately you missed, started uh, downtown where we had a marching band, the Expo City Marching Band, and Marcy, who was the baton toilet, led a parade from downtown across the bridge and onto the Expo site. On the bridge, we had a um, collection of national flags made from balloons which got released as Marcy and the band went past and that was what I was actually worried about a couple of, a couple of days out whether the balloons would all be blown off before the oh, opening goodness. ceremony and then waiting on the site we had a 2000 piece uh, symphony orchestra made up of uh, school and university music graduates uh, and they lined the parade route uh, then we had Raf Hercules flying over, dropping fireworks and balloons and helicopters with smoke. It was quite an opening ceremony. It was a pity you missed it. I know. <laughs> As I say, I'm embarrassed to have missed it now. Uh, but I was there for the closing ceremony, which was an incredibly uh, uh, brilliant thing to see and emotional, both for uh, what was going on on the stage, but also the emotion of the the, the crowd. I distinctly remember watching in uh, both admiration and horror as uh, some person around about my age, I think, climbed one of the flagpoles to souvenir one of the, the flags at the entrance to the, to the site. You know, which sounds like a... Uh, you know, a, an act of vandalism, but it, it really wasn't. It was a, a, an act of this meant so much to us that we must grab any piece of it that we can hold close forever. That that was the impression I got, and uh, it was it was just a fantastic day. But the event, how long before Expo started were you appointed to the role of uh, uh, entertainment director for the event? Uh, about three years. I think I came right. up here in January '85. Mm. Was that more pressure? I mean, up until then, your and I and I guess this is what got you that particular job was your fantastic uh, creation of the opening and closing ceremonies of the 1982 uh, Commonwealth Games in Brisbane. You know, and uh, opinion is still divided. I think among Brisbaneites as to which event made the city, uh, you know, more profoundly, the Commonwealth Games or Expo. I, I'd say it was probably a combination of the two. But that was two events, whereas Expo was 
an opening and closing ceremony plus all that went in between in terms of entertainment. Did you feel at any stage that, my God, I've bitten off more than I can chew? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't wish to be humble here, Dave. No, no, you, nor should you be.